In this video, you'll see how to manage software licenses for your Amazon Web Services and on-premises servers with AWS License Manager. With AWS License Manager, you can define rules based on your licensing agreements, track license usage, and enforce controls on license use. To get started with AWS License Manager, simply open it from the AWS Management Console. The one-time setup requires only a few clicks. License Manager sets up the permissions. Just like that, License Manager is ready to use. Let's fast forward in time to show this environment already set up with some license configurations. Here, you can see a list of license configurations we have chosen to manage through License Manager. Notice, this includes licenses consumed by both AWS and on-premises resources. Each license configuration shows a status, license type, licenses consumed, and associated AWS account ID. You can find a visual overview of this information on the dashboard. Before we get into the details of license configurations, let's take a quick look at the License Manager settings. From here, you can link AWS organization accounts to share license configurations across accounts. You can also enable cross-account inventory search, so you can search for and discover resources across all your accounts. You can also provide an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS topic, that License Manager can use to send notifications and alerts. As you can see, we've already specified a topic. Now let's return to the License Configuration screen and see how to create a new license configuration. For this example, we'll add a configuration for Microsoft SQL Server. The settings you put in here should match the terms of your license agreement with the software vendor. Be sure to review your license agreement terms before creating a license configuration. First, provide a name for the configuration. Next, select the license type. In this case, we'll choose vCPUs. Next, specify the number of vCPUs covered by the terms of this license agreement. For our purposes, it's 10. You can optionally choose to have License Manager enforce the license limit. Let's do so. You can also optionally specify any additional rules that might be part of your license usage. In this case, we won't add any more rules. Now let's create the license configuration. The next step is to associate this license configuration with an Amazon Machine Image, or AMI. This is a list of available AMIs in our account. We'll choose to associate this configuration with an AMI we have created for running SQL Server 2017 instances. Now, we'll switch to EC2 and create a new instance based on that AMI. Here's the instance we'll use. We'll choose a larger instance type that uses eight vCPUs. Now, we can launch the instance. Here, you can see that the instance is launching. Let's look at it. The new instance, which is still initializing, appears in the EC2 Management Console. Let's return to License Manager. Notice that the license configuration for SQL Server Standard now shows 8 of 10 licenses consumed, matching the number of vCPUs we used when launching the instance. Now, let's go back to EC2 and see what happens when we try to launch a second instance with 8 vCPUs. We'll go through the same steps of selecting the AMI and launching an instance. In this case, License Manager prevents us from launching the instance because the number of vCPUs being used would exceed the terms of our license configuration. 
Let's return to License Manager and take a closer look at the license configuration we created. Here, you can see information about all associated resources, associated AMIs, additional configuration details, and tags. You can also take several actions from here, such as editing, deleting, or deactivating a license configuration. Let's take a look at the Search Inventory screen. Here, you can search for resources and license configurations across all managed instances in your account, including on-premises environments. To take advantage of this capability, you need to have all your instances managed by the AWS Systems Manager Agent, or SSM Agent, and configure inventory collection using AWS Systems Manager. Let's search our inventory for any other environments running Microsoft SQL Server. As you can see, we've discovered an additional instance of SQL Server running on an on-premises server. We can easily select the appropriate instance and associate it with our license configuration. As you can see, the resource has been successfully associated. Now the on-premises license usage will be tracked in License Manager. You've just seen how to manage software licenses for your Amazon Web Services and on-premises servers with AWS License Manager. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.